Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for at any time in May. So the let what's ever left of May, you know, uh, could happen at any time. We're just going to see what comes up. These come out. we got to take them. Ooh, secret admirer and liar. So you probably have a secret admirer or you have a secret admirer in the past. Somebody is lying. They're not telling the truth. Um, we have a mask here. Somebody is wearing a mask, obviously. Um, there's somebody I feel from your past, obviously, that is admiring you. They may not be telling you the truth about how they feel. That's probably what it is. That is what it could be a cancer or somebody that has cancer in their chart. I just looked on the bottom and it, the, the cancer card was on the bottom. So it could be a cancer, sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. What do we have for Capricorn? Two weeks from now, something is going to happen in two weeks from now. Two weeks from the time that you watch this reading. Your secret, you're probably going to hear something about your secret admirer or your secret admirer is going to be revealed in two weeks from now. All right. Let's get one of these. What do we have for Capricorn? Woman holding heart. So we have a big hearted woman here, 44, four, four. So four is a prominent number here. Um, we have a big hearted woman who is, uh, obviously she's holding her heart. She has a lot of love to offer. She's waiting. She's waiting for somebody to see how big her heart is. This person, there is somebody in your past. This is somebody in your past that does see your big heart. And they may, and this, this person is holding their heart. So I'm wondering if, uh, or this could be, It feels like we have somebody, I feel like this person may have broken your heart. When I see a heart outside of a body, it's like the heart has been ripped out, you know? Somebody's heart, and it's a woman, okay? It's not a man. This does not say man holding heart. It says woman holding heart. We have a woman here who has a very big heart that has a secret admirer, put it that way. You... If you are the male watching this, you may have a woman that has a very big heart from your past that is admiring you, okay? There is a secret admirer here, and we have a woman that has a very big heart, okay? And it feels like her heart has been ripped out, okay? <laughs> I have to show you what's on the bottom. We have a couple. We have uh, this guy's heart has been ripped out as well. So there is some, and we have a man holding heart. So we, we have a, somebody that is withholding their love from a woman that has a big heart. This man is withholding his love for some reason. Maybe he's had his heart ripped out on the past and he's not giving it away at the moment. Um, but we do have, this is like a soulmate connection. This is a power couple, two people that are probably meant to be. I feel as though uh, there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of love to be had, but somebody is not telling the truth. There's lies. Obviously, there's lies. In two weeks from now, something is going to happen that is going to change this situation. We do have to take this card down. Patience, we're going to have to put this deck away, but patience is on the bottom. The need to be patient. We have two people that do have, this is a soulmate connection of some sort. These two people are meant to be together. Um, so what do we have here? There's a lot of love here. A lot of love.
Listen. Listen. Quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desire's manifestation. A quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. This is our request to you. Listen. You are manifesting something. This is about stillness. This is about going within and allowing the universe, God, higher power to bring you your heart's desire. And we have heart's desire. We have two people that are going to be coming together eventually here. If they're not together already, this is a powerful couple. This is a power couple. This is a soulmate connection. There is no doubt about it. Okay? Um, quiet your mind and let God or the universe uh, take care of this. Okay? Because they are going to take care of it, whatever it is. Um, give it time. It's interesting because we had patience and this is quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desire's manifestation. Just wait. Just sit back and wait. These two people are going to come together at exactly the right time. The higher power has it under control. If you are in a relationship right now and everything is going well, I don't know why you're watching a tarot reading, but if that is the case, you are probably with your soulmate. You are with your soulmate. That's what it looks like to me. If you are single and you are waiting and you have a big heart and your heart has been ripped out, you're going to come together with somebody that has similar experiences to you. Okay? Um, you may, somebody has had their heart ripped out by a liar. Okay? They, by somebody that deceived them, that was wearing a mask. You are about to receive a gift. Okay? A gift is coming. And this is a gift of love. If, if you, like I said, if you are, if you are coupled and you are in a relationship, if you are worried about somebody lying to you, you're worried about some sort of deception, it will be revealed to you in two weeks. Say you're in a couple right now. You're in a relationship and there's some cheating going on. There could be. There, I mean, hopefully there's not. But, you know, there, there's something going on here where it will be revealed in two weeks. And it may be, it has to do with love, okay? It has to do with love. It has to do with emotions. It has to do with feelings. And it has to do with previous heartache or heart pain okay because when somebody gets their heart ripped out that is obviously painful so anyhow um in two weeks from now something that you have manifested is going to present itself whether it is a revelation of truth or it is a new love opportunity something that has been behind the scenes this person may not have been communicating because they were healing whatever the case is you have a change that is coming okay um, just be patient this is a time to be patient and continue to heal because patience reminds me of the temperance card and temperance comes after death and death you need to heal from a death you need to heal from an ending so perhaps there's healing that is going or heal and when I say death people a lot of people think death actual death death is the end of a situation that has ended you know healing is needed grieving is needed I do see two hearts coming together okay they are going to be coming together what do we have for Capricorn this is true love that's what I just heard true love Ooh, the tower a fated a fated event a major disruption this is a shocking uh, reveal of some sort some sort somebody's fault sense of security is about to crash or crumble there's going to be a major disruption somebody has been lying this is a false impression it's a false foundation they have been pretending that they are happy in their current circumstances they are not 
They are not. This is a necessary evil. This is the universe, and I've talked about the universe already. The universe is in charge. Okay? The universe is in charge. The universe is going to... This, this is a life-changing event. There is going to be a life-changing event. This is a major life change. Wheel of Fortune. Oh my goodness. Now this is good luck. This is the Wheel of Fate. We have fate a couple times. We have a fated union, a fated partnership. Something that is meant to be that is coming in your direction. You're going in a new direction. A chapter is ending in your life. It's a chapter of lies. It is. This is mirroring each other. It's a chapter of deception that is ending. Okay? There's some. There's been some sort of secrets. Somebody has been, because that word secret is here. Secrets are definitely going to be revealed and luck is on your side. You could be at the right place at the right time and you meet somebody. This is a complete shock. This is going to be a shock to your system, put it that way. The Wheel of Fortune is good luck. It is positive, going in a positive new direction. Um, it's positive change, very, very positive change. So something very positive is going to be happening for you. This is a reward. This is the wheel of fate spinning you in a new direction. You're going to be starting with a clean slate, probably building up a new foundation with somebody. For some of you, this could be a new home. Some of you may be building a new home or moving in with somebody. This, because When I looked at this a minute ago, I thought of the home. Some of you may be building a new foundation someplace else with a soulmate. This is a, a fated change of some sort. We, have, we definitely have two hearts coming together. Huh. It's beautiful. It really is. This is a constant motion, right? This is positive change that is coming. This is life that is always changing. So you are about to have a very positive change in your life. Eight of Wands. More and more and more. Things are going to get better and better and better and better. They are. You're going to receive messages. You're going to receive uh, movement. Well, there's going to be movement. This is fast forward movement. Um, things happening fast. This is definitely sudden things are going to happen really, really fast. I feel like whoever you're dealing with is going to suddenly uh, show up or communicate with you. This is triumphant news that is arriving. Okay, this is arriving very, very, very fast. All of a sudden, somebody hasn't been telling the truth. They're going to be communicating. They have this strong desire, this passion. It wants our passion. This is definite change. Eights are change. We have the completion of one cycle and the beginning of another. You are going to be starting with a clean slate. This starting with a clean slate is going to move you in a new direction very, very, very fast. Quiet your mind and body. A quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. Quiet your mind through whatever disruption this is. You're going to be receiving a message from the divine. If you are confused by something, if you are feeling uncomfortable or, or in shock or whatever is happening, just quiet your mind and listen and your guides will give you a message. They will give you the answer as to what you want to do. Or what you need to do. This is moving very, very fast. Somebody could literally be moving fast. Like moving like their house. Like packing up and moving. Moving very, very fast. But wherever it is they're moving is very, very, very positive. This is a very positive change. 
Um, this is meant to be. It's meant to happen. I feel like we have two hearts that are coming together that are meant to be together. This is a major disruption to your life, though. This is a necessary evil. This is when the universe comes in to force a change. So there is some sort of forced, fated change that is happening. Where it has happened, it's happened for a reason. You're moving in a new positive direction. You're re going to be receiving some good news as well. Knight of Swords reversed. Seven of Cups. And that, remember I said confusion? Interesting. Interesting because the Seven of Cups is about confusion. And I said if you're feeling confused... Listen and take it basically take a time out and you will receive the messages from your guides. If you are feeling confused about a major disruption or a major life change, take a minute to sit back and just quiet your mind. And I would say more than a minute, okay? Take time. Be patient and wait for the message to come. Okay, you're going to receive the answer that you are seeking from the divine. In two weeks from now, you are going to, everything is going to be clear. Okay, you're going to be absolutely clear as to what you need to do. But during the, these two weeks, leading up to the two weeks from now, you're probably going to be struggling with some sort of secret or deception or something like that. Maybe you're fearing, because the Knight of Swords reversed is fear. Maybe you fear that somebody is lying to you. Maybe you're in no hurry to make any moves. You're no, in no hurry to move. You're in no hurry to make a choice. You're going to be in the universe going to force a decision. So there's going to be a tough decision that you are going to have to make. Okay, you're going to have to really, really go within to allow the universe to speak to you. Okay, so this is a big deal. It is a big deal. I feel like uh, things are, are just happening really, 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 really fast. And you are going to need to take a time out to slow down. Really slow down to think. And I think you're going to be put in a position where, you know, somebody that you're dealing with wants you to move fast. And you may need to say, no, I need to think about this. Give me time. Give me time to think about this. You know, I think that you may need to say that. I think that you are going to be approached by somebody that, you know, they think that they're saving you or they think that they're helping you or, you know, they want to, uh, you to take a chance or whatnot. But I feel like you're good, you're fearful of taking that chance. What is this person's ulterior motives, right? Anyhow, I do believe that you have a very uh, fated event that is coming. It could have to do with your, your home. It could have to do with your health. It could have to do with um, a secret or lies from the past that are coming back around to be dealt with. Whatever is happening, there is going to be a major... Uh, moment okay there's going to be a major event that forces you to make some sort of choice and i do believe you're going to be receiving a lot of messages you're going to be receiving messages from a person and you're going to be receiving messages from guides guides god universe spirits whatever you're going to be receiving messages and i feel like you're going to have a struggle you're going to struggle with making a choice because there's so many messages just so many just you're going to be receiving so many messages um, and you're probably going to need to take a time out to go within to to reflect we get the hermit in reversed on the bottom it's like I really needing to go within and to reflect you will need to withdraw with other from others okay I feel like for some of you you may you may be paranoid you may have a, a little bit of paranoia about trusting and I think that you probably need to open your heart you probably need to listen to your heart and follow your heart because I feel like you're going to be receiving or coming together with somebody or working with somebody that you have a lot in common with and there's mutual feelings here or there's mutual uh, experiences. If this is somebody new that is coming into your life, you and this person have both had mutual experiences. This is a fated union. Okay, this is a faded, faded union. Okay, it is. And anyhow, I do believe that, uh, you know, 
there's 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 fear of the the Knight of Swords reversed is fear fear of change. There could be fear of change, fear of 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 opening your heart or giving your heart or or fear of moving. You know, there's fear here, but everything happens for a reason. So I do believe that you are going to be put in a position, and it's going to be a tough position. I had the Seven of Wands a while back, and I looked at the bottom, and I didn't say it. Seven of Wands is a tough position, and I think that you are. You're going to be put in a tough position where you're. everybody's asking you what you want to do, what do you want to do, what do you want to do, or somebody is. And you may have so much on your plate that you don't know what you want to do. You may have many, many options. The Seven of Cups is options. You have a lot of options here. What are you going to do? You're confused. You, you uh, are receiving so many signs and messages. You don't know what to do. Take a time out. Take a time out to reflect on the decision that you are about to make, okay? Um, whatever is happening. For some of you, you could be at the right place at the right time, and you could run into somebody that uh, you feel a strong connection to. This is a shock. It is a surprise. This uh, is definitely meant to be with the Wheel of Fortune. This is by chance, okay? You may run into somebody by chance. It's definitely all of a sudden, and things happen fast, very, 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 very fast. Um, for some of you, um, I think this is going to be a shock. It is going to be a shock. Um, you may receive a shocking message from somebody that really confuses you. Um, this could be a secret admirer that from that has been behind the scenes that hasn't said anything and they just speak up. Um, this is somebody that has feelings for you. Um, Anyhow, good luck.